Hi, and welcome to Grenada School District Online Registration. In this video, we'll be going over registering a new student. Before we begin, you should have all the documents necessary to register your student. Those documents were reviewed in the Getting Started video. You should also have set up your Active Parent account, which was reviewed in the Active Parent video. For online registration, we'll be going to the website ms2220.activeparent.net. This can be done from your phone, tablet, or computer. Once at the Grenada School District Active Parent website, you will need to log in. Once logged in, click on the Online Student Registration button in the top right. Since we are registering a new student, we will have to enter a code. Please be aware that the person registering a new student must be on the birth certificate or have guardianship papers. A step parent cannot register a new student. Next, we'll click on Have a Code and we will input our code. and click on redeem code. This code can only be used once and you must have a code for each child. Next, we'll start by selecting the student. Click on update and continue once you've read the note. Start by filling in the student demographics. This includes first name, last name, middle name, social security number, date of birth, grade level, and if your child is going to be in kindergarten next year, it would be incoming kindergarten, race, gender, language background, and complete the home language survey. Then click on next step. This next section deals with the student's address and information. We'll input a new address for the student. And we'll click Add Address. We'll add a phone number. We'll choose the type. This next section is where you upload your residency proofs. Remember, you need two. We'll click on Upload New File. We'll click on Select File. We'll click on my proof, electric bill, and we'll give it a description, and we'll upload file. We'll repeat this for the next document. Select file. Proof number two is a picture that I took. Once we're done uploading our two proofs, we can close the window and continue on to the next step. In this section, we'll be completing birth certificate information and early childhood program information. When putting in your birth certificate number, please include all of the digits listed in the top right. birth city, and click on birth certificate documents. Here is where you upload your birth certificate. We'll select file. 
select the birth certificate, upload, and upload file. We'll close the window and continue on to the early childhood program information. Here you'll select where your child went to school before kindergarten. My child was at home, so I'll put home in the program location. And we'll click on next step. Our next section is immunization and medical conditions. This is where you would upload your form 121 that you got from the health department. So we'll click on immunization documents, upload new file, select file, 121 shot form, and for the description I'm just going to put 121. We'll upload file. Now we'll close the window. Our next is any medical conditions that our student may have. There's a drop down here for asthma, ADD, ADHD, general info. Please be aware that anything put in here will need to be backed up by some kind of medical documentation. And we'll click on next step. This next session is about permissions. Please read through all the permissions listed and whether or not your child may participate. I'm going to click yes to all. If you have any permissions or waivers documents that you need to upload, you can do it here. Once done, we'll click on Next Step. Our next section deals with the Parent and Guardian Contact Info. This is where you would enter your information or anybody that can check in or check out your student or any emergency contacts. First of all, I want to highlight that if you've already done it for one student, you can import it from them to this student just by clicking on Import and you'll choose the student. Since I don't have anything to import yet, I'm going to click on Add New Parent. Start with my name. My date of birth. Relationship resides with, I'm an emergency contact, I'm allowed to check in and check out, and I receive mail. No military affiliation, and school. I'm going to add my address. Click on Add Address. I'm also going to go down and add my phone number. It's my primary phone, and I want to get AIM calls and AIM texts. The AIM call is where we send out notifications like about bad weather or anything like that. I can also add my email address as my primary and my AIM email. So you would continue this for any contacts that you have, including mother, father, and also any contacts that are not allowed to contact with the student. After you have completed all the information, click on Save. 
At this point, you can add a new parent or guardian or continue on to the next step. The next section deals with miscellaneous uploads. Miscellaneous uploads would be anything that you have not already uploaded, like guardianship papers or medical conditions. Once you have completed your uploads, click on Next Step. The last section is the Finish section. It is where you confirm that all inner information is accurate and true to the best of my knowledge. It is also where you sign your full name, and the name that is on the proofs should be the one signing. You also have the option to print all. After you have signed, you can click Save and Finish and complete registration. At this point, you are done with this student, but please remember that this process has to be completed for each student, and each student's registration has to be reviewed, so please allow us enough time for processing. Thank you for watching our new student registration video. We look forward to seeing you.